name is Danson Ndegwa. I am the head of corporate communications at Oxfam AG Limited. And um, I've been here for 17 months uh, from June uh, last year, that is 2021. And I would like to welcome you to the Meet the HR show at MBCI TV. Kariboni sana. Oxfam, Oxfam. Yes. Tell us, what is Oxfam? Oxfam. Oxfam is a um, uh, fruit farming business. Mm -hmm. Our Biashara is typically fruit farming. Yeah. And we want a healthy society. We want people to eat healthy. We want people to make money out of trees. Yeah. One of our slogans is actually money grows on trees. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you do exactly here at Oxfam? At Oxfam, I'm in charge of um, corporate affairs. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's typically anything internal, external communication, yes. um, relations with other organizations, other nurseries, um, mm -hmm. farmers, stakeholders, you know, yes. and, and all that. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that's that's what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. All right. Yes. I understand Oxfam is a very huge company. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us on average, how many farmers are you dealing with currently? Um, first on our database, we have over 200. Over 200. Thousand. <laughs> Not 200 <laughs> only. 200 and then thousand. the thousand parts. Yeah, people that we you know that, that we deal with, that we communicate um, with yes. on a weekly basis. Right. Um, so it's it's a huge portfolio mm -hmm. a huge portfolio yes yeah now you as a corporate communication mm -hmm. officer mm -hmm. by engaging with them mm -hmm. what does it exactly mean um it one is keeping them um informed mm -hmm. about the current uh trends where the market is um the emerging you know the emerging trends you know over the years, there are new things that keep you know, know that keep on cropping. You see, like farmers, um, we have things such as termites, mm -hmm. you know, which might uh, invade. And you see, when you're having plants like say, like the um, passion fruits, yeah. you know, you have to put them um, some structures so that you know they are climbers. Mm -hmm. So they need support. Eh? Yeah. So you have to keep on um, telling farmers in case there's this, um, you know, termites come, mm -hmm. this is what you need to do. Yeah. And this is what you need to do to avoid termites from coming to your farm. So it's actually doing a research uh, upfront mm -hmm. and informing them before it actually happens. You know, it be before it happens so right. that you are proactive and not reactive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that brings me to the question. Mm -hmm. Did you like farming before you applied for this job <laughs> or one came after the other? <laughs> um, to be honest, one came after the other. Okay. Um, growing up, I mean, <laughs> my mother can give you a testimony of how I used to go to the farm and dig uh -huh. a hole and, you know, and just sit while the rest of my brothers are busy you know yes doing the real plowing mm -hmm. um it's something that i've actually come to love so much on the job yes you know there are things that you see over the fence and there are things that you see when now you are inside and doing it yeah it is really um farming is really amazing mm -hmm. yeah now after daystar mm -hmm. was this your first job or were there other things you were doing before then the other things I was doing, um, I was doing events. Um, I also tried real estate. Real estate? Yes. Still yes, communication, yeah. but though. No, trying to, you know, getting uh, getting people to buy houses, you know, ah. and, and, and land here and there. Yeah. I also tried selling cars, you know. <laughs> we were trying to make ends meet. Yes, 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 yes. Try to make, to make mm -hmm. ends meet. Yeah. And then um, after that, after COVID came, the disruption. Um, I went into to work for a mental health facility. All right. 
why I think I worked for around eight months mm-hmm. and then now uh, came came here at Oxfam. Okay. Yes. You are very proactive and very active on LinkedIn. And we have that thing that says your network, your <laughs> network. <laughs> your network. Yes. Did it play a certain role in growing your career? Yes, 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 yes. You see, um, across all the social media platforms, you know, you find different, different people. Mm-hmm. And one amazing thing about um, LinkedIn is that you find uh, professionals uh, who are there talking about, you know, um, people who have been there for ages. Uh, they have loads of experience. And mm-hmm. for me, I think... In as much as you should mm-hmm. know people, but I think also knowing the right people is yes. also is also key. And one thing about LinkedIn is that um, it's it's a very accommodative platform for someone who is really interested in you know career career mm-hmm. wise um, activities stories. Yeah. Um, you, people don't shy away from accepting connections. Eh? Mm-hmm. Uh, when it comes to LinkedIn as compared to these other um, social media platforms. Yeah, mm-hmm. so LinkedIn has played a very key role. I learn a lot. Uh, it, it this platform, I'll not mention the names, that, you know, <laughs> every Thursday. <laughs> you have uh, to be I there. I have to be there because, I mean, the, the amount of wisdom mm-hmm. that, uh, you know, that oozes on that particular day is just on another level. Yes. Yeah. All right. From a marketing officer to a corporate communication mm-hmm. officer, mm-hmm. how has the journey been considering that you are still here at Oxfam mm-hmm. and you've managed to climb different roles and positions? Um, the journey has been amazing. It has been, you know, it has been tough. <laughs> you know, it has been tough. You have to accept the <laughs> tough part. It has been tough, let me tell you, because... Um, yeah. When it comes to, you know, you cannot market something that you don't really <laughs> know. Yeah. So every single day after work, yes. I had to log into my computer <laughs> and do research. You know, you are out on your own. You mm-hmm. know, you're given, a, let's say, like a one-month grace period or to, to the extent, three to months. To catch a few things. To catch a few things. Yeah. But after that, you know, you have to perform, you mm-hmm. know. You have to the deliverables that you say that you will achieve yeah. on the day of the interview, you have to achieve, achieve. them. And also as an individual, you know, yeah. um, I like setting targets for myself, you know, have I done this, you know, in, instead of, you know, uh, the way corporates look at the mm-hmm. KPIs, Yeah. Um, what different thing am I bringing on, on the board. table, you know, and what am I bringing on board, yes. you know, as, as dance on, why did they hire me and not hire another person? Another person. Yes. yes, yes, yes. So it has been an amazing journey. All the same, I cannot say it's just been tough mm-hmm. because that toughness um, has produced a lot of greatness. Mm-hmm. I have really got to learn a lot. I've been able to actually meet a lot of people yeah. who are in this field, you know, and um, decision makers, yeah. you know, who are pulling together in the same crowd of you know yeah. your, ne- your 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 network is your network, network. Yes. yes yes all right mm-hmm. for such a career you've said it involved a lot of research yes is there a way someone can access certain trainings or certain skills mm-hmm. to enable them to grow i will say you cannot you can actually not be able to you cannot be able to grow mm-hmm without um, without training so, yeah. um, you know sometimes people think like you know the, the whole business of training is very expensive but yeah. only that you don't realize that you know there's a lot of training actually on LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. there's a lot of training on youtube Ah, you so know. let's stop fixing our heads and saying we must have a certain training that has been kept under a building no, and that no. one is the only one that we will attend. No, mm-hmm. no, because I mean, time. Yes. Time is an aspect, you know, you can't keep on saying that um, on this particular day I'll not step into the office because I have a training. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's very hard it's and you have to make sure the KPIs <laughs> are in check. Exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. 
So it's 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 up to you as an individual to create the time, you yes. know, because you know at the end of the day this is mm-hmm. this is for me because I mean nobody will ever look out for you. <laughs> That's you true. You look out for yourself. Yeah. To remain mm-hmm. relevant. That's right. you know you have to be relevant. Or else, if you're not relevant, <laughs> the door will be waiting <laughs> for the you. The door is always open, you know, for walking in and <laughs> for working out. <laughs> yes. When we hear about public relations, mm-hmm. we know after school, I might decide to enter events mm-hmm. or decide to do a branding <laughs> strategist mm-hmm. somewhere. Mm-hmm. For you, mm-hmm. what did you want to become? Um. <laughs> just just like the majority, you know. <laughs> yeah. Just like the majority, um, events was, you know, my thing. Yeah. And actually, I was actually practicing it while I was still in school. For how long? Uh, for about some years. Ah. Yeah, so uh, you had tried a little bit I of testing tried. the water. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I had tried. Yeah. And but but it gives me satisfaction. It's 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 so satisfying because mm-hmm. you know, getting to execute a whole event is you know it's quite a thing. Yeah, it's quite a thing. Yeah, yeah. But we are here. We are, mm-hmm. and uh, we do not regret the decisions that you have made mm-hmm. not to switch over. Right. Yes, yes. In such a setup, we find various roles within the firm. Mm-hmm. For someone who has studied maybe a degree in mm-hmm. journalism or mm-hmm. a degree in communication, mm-hmm. a degree or a diploma, mm-hmm. what are they looking at? What are their odds? Because we want to look at uh, working either in an institution, especially uh-huh. for the ones who have finished, mm-hmm. they're looking at media houses. Mm-hmm. They don't want to look to this other mm-hmm. side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know, um, the honest truth is, mm. I happen to I happen to work a lot with media houses because ah. they are looking out for stories. You know, we want to know about fruit farming. We want to, we want people to see mm-hmm. that this thing is real. It's not just, um, let me use the word, uh, uh, chief justice. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's, it's not, it's, it's not just hot air. It's something <laughs> that is, you know, real. Eh? Yeah. Um, and you get media houses calling and saying that, hey, we need a farmer. Mm-hmm. You know, we need, we, 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 we need to see, um, uh, apart from the seedlings, we want to see an actual, um, an actual f- uh, orchard. Mm-hmm. That's, a pr- that's the right term to yeah. use. Uh, we need to see an, an established orchard. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, we go out and uh, we, show, we show the world that this is actually mm-hmm. real. You can actually do it. It's not as complex. As, as complex as mm-hmm. it sounds or yeah. it seems on paper because mm-hmm. you see when it's, when we are sending out information you know we send you know this fruit will go in this particular latitude mm-hmm. and all that and you know some to someone who does not understand it sound it appears jargon mm-hmm. you know? I've been a new one <laughs> it sounds like jargon but mm-hmm. you know when you see the actual when you see the actual produce mm-hmm. you're able to see that and here it is it is true it's not just um stories that are you know that people create behind the screens yeah so there's a lot of potential in organization because there's no single organization that actually operates on mm-hmm. on its own it needs um to look for customers it needs t- stakeholders yeah. you know it needs its image mm-hmm. protected you know it needs that person who goes out there to um, make sure the brand is taken to properly? Make sure the brand is taken proper, taken care of properly. Yeah. And they, an organization needs someone to go out there and yeah. shout and place them strategically, because that's that's typically what communication corporate affairs does. Yeah. yeah. And in such a role, mm-hmm. will I find you outside or inside the office? Both, mm-hmm. both, yeah. um, because as I said we int- I interact with customers. I need to understand how customers feel about um, about our seedlings, yeah. how their journey has been. Mm-hmm. So you find me, you know, Almost outside here, you places. know, communicating with the customers, ensuring that they feel, you know, they your value, mm-hmm. they are worth for every um, shilling yes. they spend on the seedlings. Yeah. Uh, Ensuring that content is being pushed out, you mm-hmm. know, timely and in the right manner, 
everything is understandable to break down from mm -hmm. the jargon to now the simpler the way simpler way so that they understand because yeah for communication to be effective you must um you must ensure that your audience is mm -hmm. able to understand, understand. What you who are some of your team members within that well that. um i have i have um I have various people that I work with closely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I closely work with um, the sales team. Okay. Uh, because what we have done, our model for the sales is that they normally don't go out. Mm -hmm. They stay in the office. Oh. Yes, they normally don't go out. They stay in the office. Uh. Mm -hmm. So we okay. have created, um, we uh, as a company, we have where we are, yeah. regions. We have another f demo farm in uh, Nyeri, okay. Nakuru, and um, Eldoret. All right. So every every demo farm has its social media accounts. Huh? Oh. So they post out their content. Of okay. course, you know you have to you know see through that. It is you have to follow and ask. Follow, How know. far? Yes, 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 mm -hmm. yes. Um, and also, I have um, a marketing executive yeah. um, who we, you know... Now, in all those regions, <coughs> there is someone for that job? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And now, while hiring them, mm -hmm. will you go through them? Will you ask them if they know certain things about the farm? Or so long as your paper is good, let's go. Um... See, the thing is, if they were to actually look about, you know, the farm, yeah. <laughs> there will be one guy who is not standing here, you know. Yes. But more so, it's 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 actually more of the, the attitude and not necessarily the papers, All the right. paperwork. I'm, mm. I'm, not, I, I'm not in any way trying to discredit academic qualifications. Yeah. But um, academic qualification without um, the proper attitude or, you know, the ability or intentionality to learn, mm -hmm. um, for me, I count it as, you know, just there. <laughs> you know, just there. And, yeah. uh, I'm avoiding uh, to use the word useless, but, you know, it's just there. Yeah. And are there certain skills or certain personal attributes mm -hmm. that have enabled you to reach right now where you are? Um, yes, yes, <laughs> most definitely, yes. Sir. Yeah. Um, one is, you know, being, being honest. Mm -hmm. On my day of the interview, I frankly told them, Mimi and agriculture have been... Like this. However, uh -huh. I am willing to learn. Because mm -hmm. to be honest, I like challenging. I like... I like new challenges. Yeah. I like, you know, venturing into things that I've not done before, you know, because yeah. that is what will make you learn. If you continuously do the things that you do on a normal basis, mm -hmm. then I think that's stagnation. It's not really growth. Huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so honesty mm -hmm. is one. When you don't know something, just ask. Just, just ask. You know, just say, I don't know this. Can you know? Can you help me, or can you give me um, some time mm -hmm. so that I can do a little bit of um, research? research. Um, number two, just to build up on the honesty is that now research. Eh? Yeah, you have to you know continuously mm -hmm. uh, learn. I I have. I am very lucky, mm -hmm. you know. We have that. We have agronomists. Uh, oh yeah. So when they are not in the field, they sit in the office. In, in, in the office. So we agree, okay. and I'm able to see when they are busy. Ah. You know, we have a scheduled platform where if they are going to, for a visit, I'm yeah. able to see that this particular day they are not available. Okay. So when they are not available, I can slot in, you know, ah. some time with them so that they can give me an insights and in understand. On fruit farming why you know why should you craft a thing you know why should you give it mm -hmm. you know three weeks to in so that you can remove the grafting tape and all that stuff yeah. why do you need you know this, this one you know this kind of a thing huh? so this one is a wire mesh no this is a shit net <laughs> <laughs> I was close. It looks like a mesh. So could, it, could it's a, go. It's a shit net. Right. You, you'll see. 
if if you are to step out here you'll be able to see the difference you'll ah, be able to feel the difference actually all right yeah 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 what next for you i want to venture in communication okay. i want to continue venturing communications yeah but in a different in a different uh, in a different setup mm-hmm. um, more so i want to venture into consultancy oh whereby i get to work with multiple industries but not just not just oh, you know, farming. not just one but multiple okay. you know yeah cuz you know you you increase yeah. your you know knowledge on the things that you're dealing with yeah and you'll also get to know yeah more people True. and they know and you know that is how you that is how you you grow that is how you grow and you improve the skills and you improve the skills all right yeah and for very ma- many young people mm-hmm. they don't want to push themselves mm-hmm. could you talk to one of them and just tell them it's time to rise up mm-hmm. and make use of that document mm-hmm. that experience that you have there's one thing that is very crucial for all of us not necessarily even the young people but also the older generation okay. that have or that is responsible for this young um generation that you need to know that someone must start from somewhere, somewhere yeah. you know and when you building a building you must start from somewhere from foundation somewhere, you know paperwork yeah you dig up the trenches you fill the trenches with the gravel and the hard coal mm-hmm. you know before putting up the entire structure so um i think one of the challenging things for uh the young generation or this generation we say generation <laughs> z, generation z gen z itself is the why you know that's the question that they keep on asking, asking or the question that we keep, keep on, on asking. asking you know why do i have to to do this and this why can't i you know just start from here and not down here down there i can start from you know. all the way here <laughs> you know <laughs> yes. what happens is that um you might have you know very good academic um qualifications yeah but sometimes understanding how being that passed down down there mm-hmm. is also is also very crucial yeah. in terms of um how knowing how to relate with people mm-hmm. in the organization yeah. you know because that is part of your skills mm-hmm. you know because at the end of the day sometimes it's not just building the KPIs pushing the KPIs yeah. but it is also moving along with with your team okay. you know do not leave people behind you because it has taken for me personally mm-hmm. it has taken some other individuals to help me realize my potential so why should i leave someone behind you know behind um so for anybody out there it is very crucial for you to go through life you know mm-hmm. not to happen but to go through life to go through life because that is why you get a lot of experiences that is why you get to understand how does it feel being the person down here mm-hmm. and how does it feel to be in between you're not mm-hmm. sure whether to finish this assignment from this person <laughs> x mm-hmm. or from this person why why you know yeah um, it also helps you understand you know understand cause mm-hmm. In as much as we will say organizations are very happy mm-hmm. happy about you know how you pushing the content outside there how do the staff mm-hmm. how do the people you dealing with on a daily basis how yeah. do they feel mm-hmm. you know one striking thing is that you'll happen to you you'll, you'll have to agree with me is mm-hmm. that um, you spend a lot of time with your colleagues that than you even know, at home, you know, at home. <laughs> so if your place of work is and if your relationship you know in the office is not right mm-hmm. you'll have a very frustrated life very and hard that time frustration will actually go home. home it will go home yeah you know so you have to make it feel welcome you have to make mm-hmm. it feel awesome you have to make it welcome for each and every person because 
the other people who make it mm-hmm. you know conducive for you for, you know because if someone does not do their job ni wewe ndo utakujiwa tu hapo bado i'll have to spare time and stop doing whatever i'm supposed to do to go and try and correct. you know correct what was, was being done. done on the other so end so what has that done it has wasted time it has wasted and time. resources exactly and yeah. you can never this is something that you time you can never recover it you back you can never recover it time back. so instead of advancing mm-hmm. you mark time all right or retrogress. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so one thing never you can never afford to leave your people uh, behind. So right. you have to grow as you're growing. Mm-hmm. Grow with grow with the people. Grow with people. Yes. All yes. right. So that has been it and right. we are very grateful for your time and also allowing us to understand what really happens in the mm-hmm. farm mm-hmm. and a communication officer or mm-hmm. a communication expert mm-hmm. growing through different ranks yes. and actually reaching where they are mm-hmm. in a farm and understanding what the farm is all about yes. is a hassle right. sure. but we are really grateful <laughs> and uh, till next time till next time thank you very much thank you <laughs> my name is Larnell until next week bye bye farmers establish fruit orchards and also offer consultant services uh, on behalf of the company. Fruit farming is uh, very profitable. One is a long term project. So when you plant the fruit trees, uh, they are not just like vegetables. They take many more years as you continue reaping the, uh, the harvest. Uh, as also when you take to the market, generally at the end uh, of the day you get uh, more of your money and also from the, your produce. We do uh, many varieties of fruit trees, uh, ranging depending on the uh, climatic conditions. We usually have tropical and temperate fruits. So uh, there are those that do well in cold areas, and also you find that there are those do well in the semi-arid. It depends on various factors. One is where you are located. So water availability, that is very crucial. You need to have water for irrigation. Then uh, the profitability also because you find that you have different fruits which are indigenous and also they might uh, not give you the exact amount of money that you want to invest. So you must look on various uh, fruits that are profitable for you to, to succeed. Our major clients are the small small scale farmers, those who have, uh, let's say, around one acre, two acres, but still we also have uh, other companies or the large scale who want to establish their orchards for commercial purposes. We usually have uh, our sales executives. Uh, we also have our websites through Facebook, LinkedIn, and also Instagram as Oxfam AG. We have uh, our numbers there. So if our clients, they usually get us through those numbers. Eh? So And also the sales executives do follow-ups so that they can know the, uh, the seedings that the clients want.